Hi, I'm Tuan, I'm the CEO of Hegias, and today we will do the unboxing of the MetaQuest 3. Check out its features, and we will compare it to the previous version, the MetaQuest 2, and uh, do the test in the business setting, and then give you a summary uh, if it's worth uh, an upgrade or not. As you can see, the box got quite smaller now, so this is uh, quite nice already. Um, then we will open it. can already see the controllers um, are similar to those of the MetaQuest Pro but they don't have any camera so I'm really curious about the, uh, the tracking <clears throat> and then we have the glass itself We can already see there are cameras here and cameras here. So a lot of cameras uh, also for the color pass through. Um, open this one. So the glass got already much thinner. So I think the weight distribution is much better, but uh, we still have this old um, strap here, but it can be exchanged with, a, yeah, with another one, I guess. And um, <clears throat> if we go through the buttons. Um, here is the power button, as always, the charging slot. Uh, we, here we have the IPD settings, which is quite cool. So it's not uh, in steps anymore, but continuous. So this is quite nice. Um, here we have the, the charging uh, contacts, uh, the volume buttons. Here, the camera again, and also the audio in. What is new here, or what we can see, <clears throat> there are some buttons inside here. You can see it here. And also on the other side. So with this one, um, you can adjust uh, uh, the adjust uh, the distance and so for all those who have uh, glasses uh, it's quite handy to to uh, be able to to use it so it's a really cool feature all right now maybe we can remove this one. This is quite satisfying for everybody, I guess, here. Wow, okay. Really nice big lenses. So I'm really curious about the, the higher resolution of it. Yeah, I guess that's about it. All right, now let's test uh, the headset. Uh, so put it on here and let's see, so you have to adjust it. Well, yeah. Adjust it here. Yes. Okay. Now it feels already much lighter than the MetaQuest Pro and also Quest 2, so I'm already have a positive feeling about this. Okay, now we will uh, check uh, the hand tracking 
as you can see the fingers are complete so <laughs> 10 fingers and uh, it works quite well even the occlusion they managed it quite well so if I put two hands above each other all right works cool and uh, wow legs finally so we have legs in the metaverse uh, also the the quality of the lenses so we have higher resolution uh, is quite good we'll check out the the scanning and also the mixed reality feature so for that I can just tap here and then I can see the reality um, so the color pass through already is much better as you can see my hands are there as well as you can see a little bit distorted I hope <laughs> my real hands are not that distorted uh, so if I come closer it gets more distorted but it's a big upgrade so if I take the controllers here and then I switch back to the virtual reality and I do the scanning so we'll do this uh, with an app that's called first encounters as you can see this is uh, their app to showcase what they can do with the new mixed reality feature so I will scan all the objects and as you can see it will it tries to map all the physical objects and uh, makes an overlay with triangles here so I will walk through our kitchen try to map all the physical objects Maps the walls quite perfect, I must say. You can adjust them if you want, but we don't need to, as I can see. You could also add all the furniture, but we don't do this for now. Suspense is already here with the sound. It will start in three, two seconds. So it says there are some sweet creatures here and I have to collect them. Collect as many as I want or can. Okay, here's something. So there, oh, there's a crack in the ceiling. Oh, cool. So the mapping is quite nice. So there's no floating. So it lands on the, on the chair, which is quite nice. So if I go closer, it's quite cool. gun all right what kind of game can I take it yes I can all right really cool oh this is kind of a scanner so I can scan the walls oh there's already a small animal that is there oh here so it tries to go through the door here as well. Ah, all right. Here it is. Okay, I think I got one. It's in here. 
Ah, okay. As I shoot, there's some more. Red ones. Three come, okay, get more. Okay, let me see, where are they, here. Okay, this is quite the business application. <laughs> um, but the combination or the mixed reality is quite nice. So I see a lot of, uh, of use cases already to, to see the, the architecture mixed with real world objects. So this is quite nice. All right. So let's check out the other features uh, in the business setting. All right, now we jumped in into our newest application. This is for Richner, a bathroom wholesale company in Switzerland. And as you can see, I'm already in a bathroom, in a virtual bathroom. I can jump to any location. As you can see, I can uh, look around, I can go under the shower and I can change uh, all the materials. Uh, I can change to a different style if I want. So if I'm more into modern style, I can check it out. Also more Nordic or industrial. Also change the lights. So if you know our last application, maybe you can see the difference uh, in terms of quality. Now we also have real-time lighting and uh, we bumped up the quality by quite a lot. So I change back to the botanical. I can also change products. So if I want to see a different toilet, I can switch through those. Or change to another sink. And I can also change to a, a different room size. this design looks like. All right, if you liked this application, you can leave a comment uh, or send us a message. And uh, now we're gonna jump to the final conclusion. I had uh, high expectations for this device and um, my expectations were met, I must say. Uh, the device is quite awesome and um, there were a lot of uh, improvements um, uh, in, in many fields. So the first one I must say is the, the, the hardware by itself. Uh, it's much lighter now. Um, the weight distribution is uh, well balanced. So it feels more comfortable to, to wear it uh, also for a longer period of time. Um, and also the LiDAR scanner um, makes it much easier to uh, just put it on uh, so you don't need to uh, create a, an own area. It makes it automatic, so this is also very easy. And uh, also the, the quality of the display has improved by a lot. Um, and also some smaller improvements uh, for people who wear glasses. So you just push these buttons and uh, um, just uh, just uh, pull it out here. Uh, so it's it's really easy. And also the controllers um, uh, have been improved. So we don't have those inside-out tracking uh, anymore from the Meta Pro, which were quite bad. I must say they they lost uh, the connection uh, a lot of times 
And uh, for sure the, the price, I mean, uh, it's 500 uh, Swiss francs. So um, it's really a bargain. And uh, I think they, um, yeah, they challenged uh, the Apple Vision Pro. Uh, I think with also the, the mixed reality features, um, which were quite cool as uh, you, you saw. And uh, I think um, it's for me, it's, I would say uh, eight out of 10. And uh, if you want to try it, if you want to try the applications of Hegias, um, yeah, uh, leave a comment or uh, give us a call, send us a message and leave a like.